Hey babes! So today I thought we could do an indie brand review and makeup tutorial. I have known about this brand called Glamour Doll Eyes for quite some time now, but I just recently got some of their new uh, pigments in the mail. So I thought that I could do a really pretty look with them today, something soft glam. I came up with this rose gold eye and I'm going to do some swatches too. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to give you guys my complete thoughts on the brand as a whole and their pigments and tell you exactly what I think. So if you want to see how I got this look and you want to hear my review of them, keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm going to grab Beaches and Cream from Makeup Peak and I'm just going to run that all through my crease just to give me a little bit of blending room this is going to help blend the other colors into my skin going into that same palette by the way this is the manny mua makeup geek collaboration palette i'm going to go into sora which is this middle color right here it's a nice warm transition shade and i'm going to dab that on the outer corner and then take whatever's left over and blend it into my crease. But I'm using a really light hand. I want to keep most of the color on the outer corner of my lid. So now I'm just going to take a smaller blending brush and I'm going to dip into Frappe over here and do the same thing I did with Sora. Now that we have a really nice soft crease shade going on, now we're going to add a little depth into the outer corner. I'm going to use Aphrodite and an even tinier brush for this step. So now we have that really soft, blended, easy but still really high impact crease. Now we're really going to make our lid pop with this shadow from Glamour Doll Eyes. This is Heedless Heart. I'm going to use this with glitter glue right on my mobile lid. This is such a beautiful rose gold color. It's going to look really soft and pretty but it's going to make your eye pop. Next, I'm going to take Celebrity Sighting. This is a really beautiful white, but it has a red shift, a pinky red shift. So I figured it would mesh well with our pinky rose gold on our lid. I'm going to pop this in the inner corner. Oh my god. I'm going to go overboard with this. I can already tell. This is so pretty. It's so bright and just has that really beautiful pinky shift to it. Okay, so I'm just going to take that same tiny blending brush and I'm going to dip into Sora, Frappe, and Aphrodite and just really blend out that lower lash line. I'm not going to make it too harsh, just really soft and pretty. I'm just keeping Aphrodite in the outer corner. I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild color icon pencil. This is the white one. I'm just gonna run this on our waterline or my waterline. Fuck. I'm just gonna run this on my waterline, and this is gonna help really open and brighten the eyes. For lashes today, I think I'm going to go in with these Ardell Mega Volume Lashes. These are number 250. They look really soft and pretty, but they're really winged out on the outer corner. And since I'm keeping all of the darkness on the outer edge, I kind of thought these would look good. So we'll go with those.
Now I have this really pretty soft glam eye and I'm gonna jump over to the other eye off camera and I'll be right back for swatches. I really, really loved using these pigments. So like I said, I've known about this brand for a while now, about five years to be exact. Uh, when I was using them five years ago, I wasn't as impressed as I was today. So I think maybe they changed their formula along the way. Uh, so this is the packaging. That would be my only uh, naysay about it. The packaging is cute, it's small, it's good, but it just doesn't have a sifter. So if it had a sifter, it'd be like hitting it out of the park for me. So the Heedless Heart that I used on my eyes, oh my god, it was so beautiful. So when I did the swatches, uh, that was completely dry. Just dry swatches, no glitter glue, no primer, no nothing, not wet, nothing at all. I would say that my favorite ones were the ones I used on my eyes today, Heedless Heart and Celebrity Sighting. I mean, this inner corner highlight is everything to me. Yeah, I really think that these are great. They're really buttery, smooth. They blend out really nicely and they played well with the other shadows that I used today. So that's really important to me too. The price point, I mean, these little babies for a full size are six bucks. So you can't really beat that. So yes, I would recommend Glamour Doll Eyes. I was super impressed. They were just so amazing and gorgeous. So if you want to check them out, I'll leave all the links below. I do have a coupon code with them too, but I don't get paid for you using it. But it's just to give you some money off. So I'll put that down below too. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, swatch, makeup tutorial today. Please subscribe. Please like comment, share, all of that helps me out so much with my little dream of YouTube. So I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thanks. Bye.